What's going on everybody? It's Dr. Palvi again. It's Friday afternoon. I've just finished a day in the OR. And as I was doing my cases today, I was wearing a mask uh, all day. And I started thinking about all the different opinions that are out there regarding masks and whether or not they cause any harmful effects, specifically with respect to oxygenation and overexposure to carbon dioxide. So I just wanted to conduct a little experiment today. Uh, you can see behind me here, I have my anesthesia machine and specifically the anesthesia machine will be useful because it can measure oxygen uh, saturation as well as your carbon dioxide levels that uh, you exhale upon each breath. Um, I'm also wearing some ridiculous getup here, but basically I'm gonna be wearing some masks to show you uh, what the effect is gonna be. Uh, so just to start out, here is my oxygen monitor right here. This is called a pulse oximeter. I uh, just place it on the finger like that uh, and hopefully we will get a reading here. And while we're waiting for that to cook, I also have my uh, CO2 monitor here. So basically this is uh, called a sampling line and I can place this near my, uh, the, the path of my uh, exhaling, my exhale, uh, and uh, we can see what the effect will be of carbon dioxide, or rather what the effect of mass will be on carbon dioxide. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get a baseline oxygen level, if I can get this guy to cooperate here. All right, I'm saturating at 100%, uh, that means 100% of my hemoglobin are saturated with oxygen, and that's on room air. Looks like my heart rate's a little high. I guess I have been running around a little bit and I am kind of dehydrated since I have been in the OR all day. Uh, so now what you're gonna see is I'm gonna start putting my mask on. The first mask I'm putting on is a certified N95 mask and I'm gonna start putting my CO2 monitor sampling line right by my breath. And what you'll see then uh, is what kind of effects are gonna be. And you can see my CO2 that's in yellow over there. So I'm just going to start breathing normally. And I saw that 35 there. 35 is an approximate of what my PaCO2 is, which is my arterial uh, CO2 levels. Uh, so, you know, you want to see something between 33 and 41, but it's not going to be exact because there are some leaks here. Uh, or rather, not leaks, but basically an, an entrainment of air coming in. So uh, you can see here my CO2 levels are... A little bit higher, 40, 41, but I'm going to now just breathe regularly. And 43 is an, an appropriate number. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start putting sequentially, I'm going to put my mask on. So this is now a second mask over, and we're just going to watch how my numbers do. Still saturating at 100, and you can see my CO2 levels are more or less unchanged. And... Just for good measure, I'm putting a third mask on top of this. And because it's Friday afternoon and I like to be a little bit silly, I'm also gonna put a face shield on. And I'm just gonna sit here and we'll take a look at my numbers. My glasses are fogging up. Still saturating at 100, and my CO2 levels are virtually unchanged. So what I wanna demonstrate here is, I've been sitting in the OR actually with just a single mask on, but I've been having it on all day. And I have been using a mask for the last 10 years of practice as an anesthesiologist or when I do procedure work in the OR or in my office. The point is, I hope this is some visual guidance as to what kind of effects masks have on you. Uh, the, the effect is minimal, uh, something that is not really measurable. Uh, and also we know that masks are important in these current times against the pandemic and what we're dealing with with the coronavirus. So my message to you is masks are very important. The negative effects are negligible, and therefore, please wear your mask. Very, very important. I hope you found this video informative and helpful, and hopefully even chuckled at it a little bit, because I feel ridiculous, so I know this is this probably looks ridiculous to you, but it was a very important point I want to make. If you have any questions or comments or even criticism, feel free to drop a comment down below. I can't wait to uh, see what you have to say, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care, and have a great weekend. Bye.